the Tipsy Knitter, and welcome to Homebrew Wednesday. As you can see, it's dark in here. Um, my power went out. I was just about to open, a, well actually I already opened my homebrew that I, I brewed this, oh, I don't know, a few months ago. And then I was like, oh, it's Wednesday, homebrew Wednesday, I should do a video and make it legit. But then, all the lights went out. So right now, I've got a statue over there of Zeus, and Zeus has his, has my headlamp on him. And, um, so I'm going to just do this, uh, Homebrew Wednesday review of my beer from the darkness. It's crazy outside. There's, like, sirens going off, and rain's coming down, and there's a ton of wind earlier, and my floor got wet because I didn't have the windows shut while I was getting ready for the video. And, uh, yeah, just general overall chaos, I guess. So, what better time to sit down with you and do a Homebrew Wednesday review. So let me start. This is my, I already opened it, I'm sorry, I, I opened it before I thought of, um, here's my central standard koozie for, it's actually for crawlers, but um, I put it on the, um, I put it on my bomber because I didn't want my, I didn't want my bomber to go back in the fridge after the power went out because I didn't want to open the fridge because I don't know how long the power will be out, right? So, um, yeah, so I just put this little koozie on in there and, um, so this is my oatmeal stout. It is, uh, an all grain recipe from online, I think I got it from Beersmith or something, or Form, called Jamil's, o Jamil's Oatmeal Stout, and I brewed an all-grain three-gallon batch of it, and um, I didn't have the uh, keyser at the time, so I uh, bottled it all, so I had quite a few bombers, and this is actually like, um, I don't know if you can see it in the darkness, probably not at all, but it's the, there's dregs on the bottom here because of how I siphoned it out. So I, on my little cap, it said Oatmeal Stout OSD for dregs. But anyway, um, it comes in at 7%. It's not just the regular Oatmeal Stout. I have named this um, Cold Country Brewing is, Cold Country Homebrew is the name of our, my husband and I's, fictional brewery that we don't have, but um, the name of the beer is Ekfist Bray Outstay, um, a play on Founders Breakfast Stout, because I brewed this with maple syrup, and then when I uh, racked from primary to secondary, I put in more maple syrup. And it wasn't just regular maple syrup, it was cinnamon. So it's a oatmeal stout brewed with cinnamon maple syrup. And, um, yeah, did I say 7% yet? I think it's about 7%, except that's just, like, my mouthfeel, like, my estimate on it, because I forgot to take the, um, gravity after, I took the gravity before I put in the maple syrup. Uh, yeah, that's gonna change things, right? So, um, that is my estimate. So, I'm gonna give it a pour, and see what she looks like. Try not to pour too much. Now this was, I think, my second homebrew that I did, and, well, I didn't, I kind of poured more and kind of aggressively to try to get a little bit more of a head, but it's kind of got more head than I was expecting it to have. That's probably like a quarter finger head, maybe a half if, like, right at its peak there, but um, I'm, I'm not sure if I should hold this close to you or not, because you probably can't see it, but... It is um, dark. You can't see through it at all. But this has like chocolate malt in it and stuff. And um, it's also the dregs are on the bottom of this bottle. So that probably doesn't help. But I think it kind of all settled out because this is several months old now. Um, uh, so I think I brewed this with Liberty hops instead of Fuggles like the recipe calls for. But I'm not positive. Um, that's just what I know I had laying around. So let's get a smell. Ooh, caramel, uh, milk chocolate, little tinge of alcohol, kind of some pecan smells to it. 
It smells sweet. It smells like peanut brittle, I guess, kind of. Um, I'm not sure if I can smell maple. Maple syrup, no, not so much. I smell a little bit of an alcohol burn and, like I said, like a sweet, um, caramely, toffee, uh, milk chocolate smell. So, cheers, guys, to Homebrew Wednesday, and cheers to being in the dark! Yeah! So that's got a lot of flavor. I'm so happy with this homebrew, and it's just gotten better as it sat a little bit while, a little, a little while longer. And um, actually, I brewed this at Christmas because I gave it to people for Christmas presents. So this has actually been sitting in my fridge a little while. It's got a lot of chocolate flavor from the um, the the roasted malts. And it's got really nice bready taste. It tastes kind of like a cinnamon roll, honestly. A cinnamon roll with frosting on top. Kind of a toasted, like a little toasted flavors. A little bit of a coffee flavor in there as well. Um, it's all, most of the flavor is up on the front end. And it just washes down really smooth. The mouthfeel on it is not as thin as I was expecting it to be. I think it's maybe like, as it's carved up a little bit more, it's gotten a little bit better of a mouthfeel. Because I remember the first couple of these, it was um, it was pretty, pretty thin tasting to me. And it had a lot of an alcohol burn, but right now it's not. It doesn't have very much of an alcohol burn. Yeah, more toffee flavors and um, a little bit of like a nutty, a peanutty taste as well for it. But it's really sweet. It's really super drinkable. And I am so glad I took it out of the fridge before the power went out and I opened it up. And I'm so glad I'm reviewing it here with you right now. Cheers, everyone, and uh, thanks for watching this video. I'm the Tipsy Knitter. You can find me on Untapped as the Tipsy Knitter and, and or Nissa Wilson. That's my N-I-S-S-A. That's my name on Untapped. So um, I hope that you drink and or brew an awesome homebrew this week. Check you later. Oh, so uh, I'm going to insert this little video in um, because when I was doing that review, I was saying that it was clear, I mean not clear, but that it didn't have any flocculent in it uh, or dregs from the bottom, but look at this, oh my gosh, I don't mind drinking this because it just, it tastes absolutely amazing and I'm going to continue drinking it, but um, you can see in my bottle here, uh, okay. You can see in my bottle that there's the top of the um, the beer, and then there's the dregs down there. So I obviously got a little bit in my <laughs> in my bottle or in my glass. But um, the the past ones I've done, you know, I knew I knew that this was going to have these in there, and so maybe this wasn't the best homebrew Wednesday uh, beer rev to review the bottle. But who cares? Because as you know, it's dark, and when this video is over, I will be sitting in the dark, not minding at all about these little pieces of yeast in here. Yeah. Here is uh, Zeus with his headlamp on in the dark. I'm going to take the headlamp and let's do a, a darkness tour of my house. There's my keyser. There's my picture in the dark. This, look at this sweet new picture we got. Oh yeah, that's cool. Oh yeah, here I am. Ah, headlamp me. Um, you probably can't see anything when I do that. I'm sorry. Here's outside. Oh, the floor is wet. Ooh. Can you hear the sirens? Ugh. Yuck, 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 yuck. Well. Anyway. 
That's my house, plunged into darkness. Happy Homebrew Wednesday, drink on, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye!